home, and unfortunately, it's growing. Bed bugs are back, as Eyewitness News was first to tell you. Now we learn the numbers of cases are up. Reporter Carol Ferguson tracks down what you need to know. We've had a number of complaints. You will have bodies along the baseboards, um, live and dead. You'll, you'll see eggs. That's what a bad infestation looks like. Kern County Environmental Health Inspector Inga Van Hoos checks hotels and motels. This year, complaints are up. We've seen about a 30 to 40 percent rise in the calls. At Terminix Pest Control, they're seeing the same thing. We go along seams and then the cracks and crevices. They treat in tiny places to get rid of bed bugs. Why are there more cases? The main reason that folks get bed bugs is because they've traveled somewhere or they uh, have somebody who's traveled to them. Michael Kaiser says the bugs hitchhike from place to place. They get in suitcases, backpacks, purses. It just takes one person that has them. Donna Felton's the county chief environmental health inspector. They're creepy, but... The bed bugs themselves don't pose an immediate health risk. They feed on blood your blood. They don't carry disease, but people can be sensitive to the bites. So they may have an allergic reaction, and that could lead to a secondary skin infection. No wings, bed bugs are oval-shaped, flat, adults about a quarter inch long. The eggs look like really tiny white grains of rice, really small. Adults are tanned a deep brown. They hide and come out at night. It just says motel, motel. The county's had 24 reports at hotels and motels so far this year, and that's up. They can actually occur in any hotel. They inspect, shut down any affected rooms, and order treatment. You not only want to hit the room that you found bed bugs in, you want to get the adjacents. Fenton's department handles motels and hotels. As for apartments? Code enforcement has been getting calls. They, they said at least two or three a month. Both agencies make owners get rid of the bed bugs. But if they end up in a home... A lot of times people will self-treat and they will make the problem worse. So, how can homeowners deal with the bugs? I would just say make sure you have a licensed pest control company. If it's not caught early enough, and it, it can become a very huge problem and a very expensive one. Carol Ferguson reporting. Now, coming up later in the newscast, we'll give you specific steps to take when you travel at your home and to protect yourself from bed bugs. The Betrayus 